Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Beeline to Victory podcast. We're now on episode five, and we'll just get right into it. So today, we're going to recap the Michigan-Alabama A&M game. We're going to talk about how well Charles Matthews just started out and his impact on the team going forward. Then we're going to play a little game called Create a Conference, where I'm going to say who I would have in my conference, ideally, if I was picking 12 teams in the whole country. So, um, against the Alabama A&M, you knew it was a cupcake game. You knew they were going to go in there and win. But I thought John Beeline especially did a great job, especially in that first half, with having the team stay focused defensively against a team that isn't very good. But they stay focused. They shot the ball great. They didn't come out laying an egg and win by 15. They went out and won by 50, like they should, against a team like that. Really, it was an incredible win. Charles Matthews had 31 points. Incredible win for the team. Charles Matthews had 31 points. Robinson had 18. Abdur Rahman had 14. And this is all without Mo Wagner. So it was impressive. Obviously, they didn't beat a very good team, but it was an impressive win. And I thought that they showed a lot without Wagner for Robinson, Matthews, and Abdur Rahman to shoot so efficiently without the best guy, with about the best player in your team on the floor. And I especially thought that Abdur Rahman was impressive. He's really turning into a leader on this team. I like his role going forward, and I think Robinson played a very, very good game. He's been struggling shooting the three, even though he's one of the best shooters in the country, but he got that back. He was five for seven shooting threes. That's insane. He had a great game, and they really just dominated. And te- and I want to say some good things about Teske. He's been doing a good job. Wagner's been out, but Teske stepped in. He's done what he's supposed to do. Gets rebounds. That's all you're supposed to do. When when Wagner's out, just step in, get rebounds, let Robinson, Abdur, Rahman, and Matthews take care of the rest. And he's done a good job. Wagner, when he's in there, he's going to score 20 points. But I thought Teske, he's done a good job off the bench this year with Wagner in the game. But starting, he's been great. I got nothing but good things to say about him. That'll take us right into Charles Matthews. Like I said, 31 points. Uh, he was unbelievable. I know it, was, it wasn't against a good team, but for a guy that transfers from Kentucky, he sits out a year. And he comes in like this, scoring the way he is. I mean, it's insane. He's shooting so efficiently. He's so confident. He, I mean, he's taking all the open shots. He's making all the open shots. He's making contested shots. He's going to the basket like he should. And he's knocking down threes. The one thing that I think he needs to work on in his game are most definitely his free throws. He shot decent yesterday, pretty well yesterday. But... uh especially in that UCLA game. I know they won, but that was that was not good from him. He was not good. And I don't know, it just it bothers me to see a team from last year with Walton and obviously Abdur Rahman, Irvin, Wilson, I mean, Robinson. They don't miss him the free throw line. And these guys are lights out free throw shooters and you got this year's team. Wagner's not a great free throw shooter. Matthew's not a great free throw shooter. It just seems like if they get that down, I think they can have a shot to compete in the Big Ten because that's what's going to win you games at the end, making free throws, securing the game. And if Matthews does that, he's really a complete player, and he has, an all, he has a good chance to make a Big Ten team, I think, this year, along with, obviously, Wagner. He's a big-time player. I mean, 31 points yesterday, that's a career high for him. I got really nothing but good things to say about him either. So it's good all overall performance from the team. All right, well, we're gonna get into this create a conference, and these are in no particular order. But I really wanted to choose the biggest brands because that's where you're gonna get your television ratings. So we're gonna start right here at the top: Michigan and Notre Dame. In my opinion, those are the two biggest brands in all of college sports. When you think of college sports, you think of the University of Michigan and Notre Dame. For sure. They are all both of them always good at football. Always good at basketball. 
and they're always big stories coming out of the universities. And they have they have, they have a rivalry too. They they're opening up this year. That that'll be one of the most watched games all year. Michigan versus Notre Dame because two big brands in a big rivalry. I mean, I think they're right there. Those two are the best brands in all college sports. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Uh, let me go on here. Ohio State. As much as it pains me to put them on here, they're on here. I mean, their football team is top 10 every year. It's yeah, I know it's right up there. And their basketball team's usually formidable. But they got chosen really for a football reason and a branding reason because there are a lot of Ohio State fans out there. Same thing with Alabama. Their basketball team's usually all right, but their football team is, I mean, it's all, it's top four pretty much every single year. It's ridiculous how good this team is every single year, year in, year out. Best coach in the country. I mean, can't ask for any more. Clemson, I was on the edge about them. But they, they've shown me football-wise, and as a brand, they can be great. And, I mean, you wanted to choose down the southeast. That's a big spot for college football. And you wanted to choose a school in the state of South Carolina. And Clemson or South Carolina, are you kidding me? It's Clemson every single time. Uh, Duke and North Carolina, I I chose them pretty much for basketball reasons. They're, and I didn't choose Kansas or Kentucky because, well, I know Kansas is a big-time basketball brand. But their football team is absolutely embarrassing every single year. And I didn't choose Kentucky because it's just not as big a brand as Duke or North Carolina. Duke and North Carolina are always in the top 10 for basketball. They're always competing for national championship. And their football teams are not as bad as you think they would be. Uh, Duke is playing in a bowl this year. North Carolina was in a bowl last year. Don't forget Mitchell Trubisky, Chicago Bears quarterback right now. Went to North Carolina and played football there and had a great career. They're not, they're not, those two are not that bad at football, but obviously they're basketball. Teams. Put them over the top. Uh, Oklahoma, again, wanted to get a team out of that state. It was either them or Oklahoma State, and it's really, it's a no brainer. Oklahoma is usually better at football, they're usually better at basketball. Uh, Oklahoma State's a good team, but Oklahoma's definitely, definitely the bigger brand. Baker Mayfield came out of there. Or it's coming out of there. Uh, then we'll move on. USC. I mean, what are you going to do here? Obviously, it's USC. Uh, you have them. And I was very, and these, you know, these next few really get me. Uh, there were five teams here that I was looking at. I have, I have these three. And then I have Arizona and UCLA. Now, I didn't choose Arizona because I don't think that college sports are as big there as they are in, in these three areas. And I didn't choose UCLA because it would it's in the same area as USC geographically. So I went with Florida. I think that was key because you need to get a team out of there. Texas is obviously a huge brand. And this one, ugh. Oregon or UCLA. UCLA is probably the bigger brand, but if you're looking to, and it's just a toss up, I could have picked either, but if you're looking to expand your horizons, I think you've got to go with Oregon and get the Northwest involved. And that that's, that's what made my decision right there happen. So here, this is, I mean, this is, in my mind, the best conference you can make. You're going to get the most TV ratings in the biggest geographical area of people watching. Well, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be interviewing an Ohio State fan, which ought to be interesting. But, nevertheless, we'll be back tomorrow. Thank you for watching.